my people, how are you doing? Thank you for joining the video again. Today I'm making the video out of my home, so welcome to my home. I'm just casual, not even dressed up or made my hair or anything because I just want to be comfortable for you. I'm in my home, so welcome. And today the video is about Wagyu beef. What Wagyu means is just Japanese beef in Japanese. And so we have uh, four different um, Wagyu beef here. And so the first one is American Wagyu, full blood Australian. We have another Australian Wagyu from a different uh, ranch or uh, farm, and I'll tell you about that. And we have the obvious best Wagyu, A5 Wagyu. A5 is their rating. And these other ratings, uh, like American Wagyu and Australian Wagyu, um, they, they call it BMS, different levels, six, seven, eight, nine, but we all, we have all eight, nine levels here. And I'll bring the camera up so that you can see the comparison. All right, so the top two right here is uh, Australian on the left, full blood, New York strip, and that's, and I did that on purpose so that we can have all New York strip to compare to. Uh, that Australian on the left is from Carrera Farms, and supposedly it is uh, eight, nine um, BMS level. And then on the right here is uh, American Wagyu from Masami Ranch. And um, they also rate theirs like eight, nine level. And down here is the Margaret River Australian uh, Wagyu. And it is bone in. It's also a New York strip. They're all New York strip. And you see this one, it actually lists out the level BMS eight, nine. And then the obvious number one best best of the best beef in the world japanese a5 wagyu beef and um so a5 is the level right there's also a4 a3 and so and so i am also new to this and so we're just kind of exploring this all together and that's my point today of uh doing this and all right I'm, let me adjust the camera so again thank you for joining and I'll start today with the American Wagyu, right? American Wagyu, uh, and this is from Masami, Masami uh, Ranch, Ranch or Farm. And you know what? I'm gonna do the, the right thing and wear gloves. Okay. And this one's bone in, so I'm gonna have to kind of cut the bone out of there here. And I'm 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 gonna take the center, the center pieces for each. I also have uh, the camera woman behind the scene. Uh, Den is joining us today, and so I'm just cutting that out and. Again, this is the American Wagyu, and I just cut some slits there so we can try this out. Do about four so we can go back to it. All right. We'll get right into it. There we go. We got that going. Ooh, that can be for soup later. And I'll prepare this one as well. This is the full blood Australian Wagyu uh, from uh, Carrera, Carrera Farms. Here we go. We cut like four slips there. Make sure we get that. I love me some Wagyu. Camera woman, am I looking all right in the camera it's over a there? Uh, yeah, on the right, right. I get a little bit lighter when I come over here. I, I don't know why. No, uh, that's darker. Oh, oh, over here is darker, mm -hmm. and then when I come over here, it's lighter. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know why. It's, 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 I'm filming on my new phone, so okay. yeah. 
All right, I'll cut that there. All right, so left hand is dirty, right hand is clean. All right. All right, I got one side. So oil content on this is uh, uh, much less than uh, the Margaret River and the A5 Wagyu. We'll get to that. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that just by visual, they have more fat grains uh, between the grains. And so while that's going, uh, actually it's almost ready for about medium rare. I know uh, Den kind of likes hers um, a little bit more cooked, so I'll cook it there. So when you cook at home, Wagyu like this, like tabletop, you always have like, you gotta get some paper towel ready because you don't want that oil to burn. Once you, you know, take it off the, I use nonstick pan. And once you take it off the nonstick pan here, there's a lot of oil there. You don't want to leave it on there because it'll burn and smoke up. And uh, set off your fire alarm, you can see? So now it's ready and for the next batch. Okay, so we can give this a try, Dan. You want and I'll do a little pinch of salt so we can get a little, just a little flavor over the beefiness. Okay. This one's a little bit more cooked. All right. Thank you. Enjoy, all right. So I'll bring this up closer to the camera so you can kind of see what we're, what we're working with right here, you see? It's gonna be dripping a little fat down there, but mm -hmm. I cook mine medium rare. How do you like mm -hmm. that? See, so what we're going for is the texture, the taste, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the ratio of meat to fat, because obviously we know A5 is mainly like fat, but it's like pure quality. Quality fat mixed in with that beef. So here we go, I'm gonna give this a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Melt in your mouth, mm -hmm. wow. Really beefy flavor, mm -hmm. the ratio to fat, it's a lot less than the others, but I prefer this. That one's really good. You know, so far, I mean, it's, it's just the first one. We're gonna compare to all four, mm -hmm. but you know what? This is so delicious. I'm even gonna eat the, the fat piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really tender. Mm-hmm, tender. Mmm. So then she likes bone and ribeye. Mm -hmm. I would, I was looking for all bone in ribeye or ribeye cut, but didn't have it in different variety like I found in New York strip. So that's the reason why mm -hmm. I went ahead and did it this way with New York strip. So, all right, I'll move on to the next one, which is the full blood Australian Wagyu from, from uh, Carrera Farms, okay? And so since our pan is ready, drop it right in. Ooh, that sound of the sizzle. Okay. Um, the first one from? Uh, Masami. Mm -hmm. The first one is the American, full blood American Wagyu. Well, when you say full blood, they actually um, uh, bred from the Japanese Wagyu. They, they brought over some Japanese Wagyu and kind of mixed with some of our American cattle. Mm -hmm. And now, so. <laughs> when they advertise, it's like full blood American Wagyu, yeah. you know. So from Masami, mm -hmm. you guys, uh, Masami Ranch, you guys can Google that and uh, check it out for yourself. I'm, I'm, you know, again, I'm, I'm also new to this, so we're both kind of just exploring. And so hence the name of my channel, More to Explore. We're going to do this together. All right. No one here on this channel is a know-all, be-all, so... We're gonna learn this together and we're gonna have fun doing it. Again, thank you so much for joining in. I'm gonna uh, utilize this time to cut out the bone from the Margaret River Wagyu here and prepare the cut for this. Just as we did with the Carrera River and the Masami American. Do like four slits strips here. Wow, this one definitely has more um, 
fat ratio within the grains. See that? Wow. Okay. All right. So that's what it looks like before it is cooked. All right. Let's see if the camera can adjust. Mm -hmm. You see, that's the Margaret River. We're getting more into more fat content zone there. Put that down. Get back to my uh, Carrera Australian Wagyu here. I'm going to take mine out because uh, Den likes hers a little bit more cooked. Put it to the side there. Kind of move that around to introduce it to newer heat there around the pan. Helps it cook a little bit better. So I'm cooking hers a little bit more. And so I also have the sushi ginger so that I can kind of uh, refresh my palate and that uh, vinegar kind of cuts through the fat. And that's the reason why people like to eat it between sushi. In my case, I'll cut through the fat for the Wagyu. And it's up to you, Dan, if okay. you want to eat that. I know you don't like them. Sushi ginger. Okay, great. Yeah, I invited some friends over, some good friends over to enjoy some Wagyu and they'll be over at seven o'clock and enjoy the rest of this Wagyu. All right, so it looks about medium. Let that cool off there. You always let your beef rest. And again, I'm gonna go and wipe down this excess Wagyu fat. All right, give it a little sea salt pinch just to give a little flavor just for this kind of comparison review. And I hope that you appreciate, you know, this just casual video in my home. And again, thank you for joining, uh, uh, you know, show me some love, you know, share, like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Okay, then, so I'll give you um, your Carrera full blood Australian Wagyu there. And then, and then so I'll, uh, I'll bring this up to the camera and show you what we're working with. All right. Mm. How's that? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about your experience there in just a minute. Go ahead and just enjoy that bite. And so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy, enjoy mine too. So cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Would you agree if I said that tenderness from the bites was a little bit more tender than the American Wagyu that we just tried? Or would it be the same? Or do you think the American Wagyu was more tender? I think the American Wagyu was more tender. Oh, so Din says the American Wagyu is more tender. I have to repeat because the microphone's here. <laughs> and then this one was what? Sorry, I cut you off. This one's a little bit more fatty. Mm. Seems like. A little, it is a little bit more fatty, mm -hmm. especially when you bite into it. When you feel that burst of flavor, it's like that fat just kind of releasing between the grains. Mm. Mm -hmm. What about the taste now? I feel like the taste within this Carrera Australian had a little a little funkiness, good funkiness mm -hmm. in a way as if it was like aged or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, a little bit different, the taste yeah? of the meat. I'm gonna do Those test things. smell, smell test. Yeah, yeah, there, there's there's definitely a little bit, um, here, smell the, the two here. More beefy. Uh, yeah, so you know what I mean. Smell that and then smell that. Mm -hmm. You see how the, the mm -hmm. You see how the yeah. fragrance of this one was a little bit more like cheesy, mm -hmm. a little cheese. Yeah. And that's what I mean by a little bit of good funk, you yeah. know? It's like the, the dry age. Maybe it was dry aged or, or maybe the transportation, you know, over here. Mm -hmm. But this one seems more fresh, tender. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It I seems like it. a really good fat ratio to yeah. meat. And then this one has a little bit more fat, mm -hmm. a, a little bit, you know, 
in the taste a little bit more funkiness. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, comparing out of these two, if you had to choose only one, which one would you choose? I would choose that one. The American mm -hmm. Wagyu. I, I actually like both of them. I wonder if it's because of what they eat, right? The maybe. American versus Australian. Yeah, maybe it depends on what they, they feed, either mm -hmm. uh, grass-fed or grass-fed and grass finish. Because yeah. grass-fed, they, they don't die eating grass. They, they actually, after a certain age, they eat grains. So that's a great point. Mm -hmm. So it depends. You know, I mean, you're going to have to do that research. Sorry, I didn't do that research ahead of time. But that's a great question. Mm -hmm. And, you know, assumption, maybe it's, it's what they, they've eaten. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go now with the uh, Margaret River. Look at the fat content on that. Hmm? Australian. This is also Australian Margaret River. So, just like I was explaining about the American Wagyu, how they brought uh, Japanese Wagyu over to America and then mixed breed. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Australia. Mm -hmm. They mixed bred their, um, their Australian cattle with the Japanese uh, cattle. Mm -hmm. And so that's why they separated. It's, Japanese is just the best beef out there. And so they just kind of mixed breed. Yeah. And Margaret Ritter, River is one of the, the good ones. Also another good one is the Stone Axe, mm -hmm. Australian Wagyu, mm -hmm. which is, you know, um, which is awesome. I, I, unfortunately, I just couldn't get the New York Strip. I do have a ribeye Stone Axe, mm -hmm. but it's ribeye. I didn't want to compare oranges and apples to mm -hmm. this, but I do have a Stone Axe and we're going to enjoy that later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Oh, looking good. It's actually like holding its uh, fat content in the uh, piece of beef a little bit better now. Mm -mm. I I'm just telling you what I'm observing. Maybe the pan is a little bit more hot now, so it's kind of searing everything inside. But that's what we're dealing with. And like, maybe I tasted on this uh, Carrera Australian Wagyu, maybe I tasted more uh, funkiness because I ate it more rare than you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I cooked yours a little bit more. And speaking of which, I'll take mine out now. And when I take mine out now, this is what it looks like. It's kind of more on the rare side. Yeah, but it's like medium rare. But I'm going to let that rest. You always let your beef rest. Right? I'm going to cook Den's piece a little bit more. Here. Again, I'm introducing new surface to this piece of beef so it can have new heat around the pan. I'm gonna kind of sear it and seal it on the side as well. All right, a little bit more cooked than mine. All right, and so I'm gonna let it rest. And with the heat on it, it's still cooking while it's resting. And while we let that rest, we get a new towel here to wipe down the excess wagyu fat here so it won't burn and smoke up smoke up the house okay all right all right we'll do this all over again all right a little bit of pinch of salt just for the kick of the beefy flavor bringing out the flavor of this wagyu all right Okay, Dan. Okay. You ready? Okay, Thank there you, you go. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. And we're going to try this Margaret River full, full blood Wagyu. All right, Australian Wagyu. All right, cheers, everyone. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, mm, that one is good. Now, folks, I know I said, mmm, wow, right when I touched my lips. But... What I first observed was just the first bite, just that first initial bite to detach your meat. That was so, mm -hmm. so tender. Mm -hmm. That was like falling off. I can see it now in the comments, mm -hmm. biting to detach your meat. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna see that coming. <laughs> A lot of, uh, that's what she said, you know? <laughs> 
Wow, I'm really enjoying this. That one is really good. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. The Every fat. bite, we got a little burst of that Wagyu fat coming up. And on this one, I decided not to eat the extra fat there. Yeah, kind of bit it off because there was enough yeah. fat in the grains. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Just to reiterate, okay, so let's, we talked about the texture now. Mm -hmm. What about that taste? That taste was really good. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was. It was very different from the. Other one. From the, the Carrera Australian? Australian? Uh -huh. Yeah, so Den says uh, it's, it's different from the uh, other Australian uh, Wagyu beef from Carrera Ranch. Like I said, I think from the Carrera Ranch, there was a little funkiness in there. Mm -hmm. So, a as if it was a good funkiness again, mm -hmm. as if it was a little aged. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Out of these three, Margaret River is mm -hmm. the winner for me. Mm -hmm. What yeah, about that, you? I, I think so too. You think so too? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, so supposedly all these, well, we know A5, all these American and you know, two Australian is like the highest quality mm -hmm. of their ranch or farm, right? All right, so yeah. that brings us to uh, the best for last, <laughs> right? Yum. Yum. Okay. Wow. I'm not going to hold this very long for the camera because the, the fat is just going to just come off my hands wow mm. look at that and uh just to give you an example look <laughs> look how it's my 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 gloves are just glistening right all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and change this glove out because the right hand is supposed to be always clean because i'm handling the knife with it okay all right echo stop music i got echo on at a certain time that it closes my curtains and uh and uh, it's sunset time and they play a little music. So I'm gonna cut around the same area and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the, uh, the excess fat off of here because there's a lot of fat content. And the reason why I cut four for me and Dennis, you know, in case we wanted to go back. All right, so, so I can already see the fat already melting. Den, would you mind please just uh, um, putting this into the fridge? Okay. Save, save two here, All right? Let's get the whole board. Yes, please. Let's get the whole board in there. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Here we go. Going in. You can hear the sizzle. Ooh. Beautiful. A5, Wagyu, we know that's the best. I mean, well, okay, so I mean, everyone has their own preference, right? But this is the highest fat content. So how can I describe it? Um, to me, eating A5 Wagyu like this is kind of like biting into a breakfast sausage, but it's all beef mm -hmm. and it just melts. And then all the fat flavor just bursts in your mouth your your mouth is just having a a huge wagyu party <laughs> so i'm gonna have mine almost rare wow i love it i love it love it love it bump up the heat a little bit turning it to make sure you get all sides. I cut this a little bit thicker, so it's kind of like a, a block. All right, how are we doing on time? What, how? 24 minutes. We're 24 minutes in. Wow, time flies when you're having fun and eating great Wagyu. So I know normally people say, oh, we try to explore and, and video, uh, video record this experience for you so that you don't have to but I recommend that you try this mm -hmm. and you have to try it right 
So we're trying our best to kind of describe to you what we're experiencing here. And it's just, this experience is just phenomenal. So I recommend uh, you, you at least try Wagyu, you know. And again, I'm doing this video because everyone talks about Wagyu, American Wagyu, Australian Wagyu, A5 Wagyu, obviously, A3, A4, but no one does a comparison for you then you know what one piece is a little bit thinner and so that cooks a little bit faster okay. but uh we're gonna go ahead and start taking this off and uh wow oh my goodness and then letting it rest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my god you see one is thicker than the other yeah all right i'm gonna Kind of soak up this precious wagyu here so it won't burn and smoke up the house again. All right. Wow, my God. All right, as it's still resting, I'm going to cut it in half, kind of show you what we're working with inside. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at that. You see that? Perfectly medium rear every bite there wow does that look good on camera mm -hmm. yeah? yeah okay here we go all right then yours is a little bit a little bit thinner here i'll i'll sear it for you at the end there pinch of salt oh. just a pinch of salt just a little bit you don't need much at all just for a little bit of beefy flavor barely anything all right okay here we go a5 wagyu new york strip cut cheers everyone mm. 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 that reminds me the first time we went to um the qx <laughs> And tried that mm -hmm. full blood mm -hmm. Japanese Wagyu. Mm -hmm. It was like that. Mm -hmm. The bite was just like that. Mm. Here's a little bit of ginger so I can cut through that fat. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do before I do my second. After a couple of bites, it just melts. Mm -hmm. In case the microphone didn't catch that, Dan says after a couple of bites. It just completely melts. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Amazing experience. Mm -hmm. Definitely got to try this, people. The, beef is good. the taste of the beef is just all around the mm -hmm. best one. But would you agree that it's so rich that you probably wouldn't be able to eat the whole steak? You probably oh, have yeah. to share it, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, I would agree with that. I, yeah. I would say that. Oh, cheers, everyone. Mmm. 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 Mm. I know there's videos out there and in Japan they dip it with egg yolk, really good quality egg yolk, sauce, punzu sauce, all kinds of sauce. But you know what? When you're eating A5 Wagyu, in my opinion, at this capacity, caliber of quality, you just need a little salt and it just enjoy. Wow. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Again, show me some love by like, share, subscribe. And um, I hope you join me on the next video. And uh, we'll see what we can uh, explore next. Uh, send me message, comment, or whatever to recommend to explore, and we'll get it done. So brothers and sisters, I love you all. You have a good night. See you next time.